Hello my friends and welcome to episode 10 of City Skylines. Again today, no real plan of action, if I am honest. Um, apart from, I think, you know, what would make a lot of sense is to just delete all of this tweets just now because there's not really any interest in them. Take this road, take the upgrade action and just go along this road. Uh, it's not going to let me, so we're going to have to keep it, um, you know, dark part of the way. And then commercial area and fill. It's not going to work, so we need to just go back to a dark road. Um, unfortunately, that's not worked out anywhere near the way I wanted it to. In honesty. And I want to just go back to my commercial select zone and fill that in oh whoa 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 let's clear this bit off because I don't want it to, to be like that and I'm going to start today by building another bridge and what I want to do is again just a two lane with a bus or taxi road and I want to do this I want to just go page up, page up, page up. I actually want to just bring it across along here. And I want to actually curve it. I want a curved bridge. And I want to bring you down, page down, about here. Nice, beautiful looking bridge. But actually I kind of think I need to delete some of this back and come from here and come bring it down in like so because that's going to make a lot more sense and then again in like so And we've had more comments, so we're going to create districts soon. But again, what I want to do is go back to single road and I want to have this one. And I want to go back to my upgrade tool and just go like that and like that. Because otherwise, I think this is going to play havoc on our police station. And I want to just place, go straight along here play it as a sort of secondary road and I actually want to just curve you now kind of away from these power lines that are happening and bring you along nicely don't want it to be overly the same as the last road but, you know, actually what I'm going to do for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to bring you back here. And bring you in. I want to curve it the other way almost. But it's wanting to join like that and I don't like that it creates such a horrible curve so we're going to do it there and we're going to work with it from there I've got all this residential demand so what we're going to do is we're going to fill in not like that because that looks horrible so fill in like so and like so and we'll actually start filling this in our circle in because that's going to make a lot of sense Why did that not go green? I do not know. And um, what I would like to do is create uh, I'm not even sure what I want to do to be honest. Uh, we've got an abandoned building right here so let's just get rid of you. Get rid of that. And again we'll just get 
Oh god, I've just deleted a build and, and I don't know what I deleted because I was trying to get rid of tweets and I thought I deselected that. That's not ideal. We've still got all this residential district, a uh, commercial district rather here, so that's good. Bus is not really spreading out yet, and for that reason, I kind of feel like we need a one-way road that has a bus lane, and I just don't see them happening very often. So, in fact, is there a single? No, because you're now into that. Um, <clears throat> which is frustrating because ideally this traffic could easily come down this right hand side and they wouldn't be affected by any of these buses uh, what are you, you're at a pharmacy indeed you are apparently um, so that's a bit frustrating in itself and this roundabout is now working almost perfectly. It's this backlog that's not coming from anywhere near it that's causing the issues with it. It's coming from all the way up here. But that should actually start flowing a bit freer now. In fact, the backlog's coming from here as it tries to get on to this bridge on the Mont A Expressway. So this is flowing much, much better. In fact, you know what we're going to do, just to try and free this up, and I know I've tried this so many times, we're not going to change the name, we're going to go back from traffic lights to stop and stop signals, and see how well this works, because this should get some of this traffic out that's not coming into the bottom lane, it gives this priority, and I'm curious to see how well it's going to work in terms of the backlog. Um, and obviously the priority is not coming through here just now so that's also an interesting thing um, I mean right now it's not working but I'm curious to see how it's going to work longer term I've got a lot of money coming in so I guess what I want to kind of do is just go Oh, we've got no water here. This would be very helpful to build some water pipes, cause, um, if I'm honest. Because that's a bit of a silly error. And while we've got the extra money, we'll just do this whole area. Right now. Or close to our next milestone. And then finishing you off like so, we'll finish that off. Um, residential demand is going down just a little bit so what I kind of need to do is have, I want to create this as a two a road it's maybe got bus taxis in it space already occupied that's got to be because of that junction doesn't it so let's pause this just now because I want to rework this junction anyway, so let's just delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, and what I want to do is then just go to this with a bus lane, upgrade, up, can't do that because I've got a school and a fire station here, so again, let's, sorry, it's a police and a fire station, I think, um, let's get rid of the road, so that's police station and firehouse, indeed, so, Let's get rid of them just now. And back to our roads. With the bus lane. What have we got here? Again, it's got to be because of this junction, so... Nope, space still already occupied. Guess it's because of... I deleted the wrong junction. I deleted a junction and I've killed a road. And I now can't see said road. So we'll delete that junction. There we go, there's the junction. So again, back to upgrading. Why can I not upgrade you? Space is already occupied by these houses, maybe. So let's just go back into bulldoze, bulldoze, bulldoze. No, let's find out where you are first. That would make sense. This is the issue on medical clinic. So delete you. Yes. Um and then back to our roads 
and then click upgrade and where do our buses go they go all the way up here so upgrade 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 no I wanted that to be a one-way street so get back to that I am um, upgrade upgrade and then back to a one-way street <clears throat> and that'll give this bus route so hopefully that will now ease the pressure of that bit we'll get this road back in and this one back in and then we'll go back to our districts where we're going to go commercial here let's go the commercial done first that we have destroyed because we've destroyed a lot and um, put that back there and i want to go back to fire station in fact that's medical clinic and we're going to put you here and that should cover a lot of it this area yes it will indeed i want to go to fire station again you're 12,000 we're going to use this one though i'm going to put you here and then our police we're going to use this one again we're going to cover you with that <sighs> so back to zoning now residential so let's have a look at all the commercial actually we've destroyed because we've destroyed a bit here a bit here that's fine that stayed intact and you have stayed intact so let's go with that and we're going to go boom boom look at where we've all damaged and along here as well as well as here and here so now we need to have the ramp coming from here on and again just want it to be a one-way street and we're going to go curved coming from here onto here and here to here and I want you to come from here behind these houses and up here and again let's get green in all this bit in there as well and there in fact we'll actually just go for all of this and this uh, we're not going to put anything on this road though so in fact you can stay green because you're not on that road but they bits are so and there please um, I guess that should work and hopefully that's now going to free up this traffic area now make it a bit less issue -y. and it's going to allow all this area to be covered as well with that we can actually cover that bit there that bit there as well with zoning that's washed out as well as that so hopefully now that means that with our bus lanes these buses will now start running much more efficiently and hopefully not create issues for all our traffic which has been happening um, although right now creating issues here but again right now that's not too much of an issue because it's going to work out okay because they're going to come off and they're going to split they're splitting this road quite nicely they're not going to be using all one lane um, in fact that's working really really well and that as well should hopefully free help some of the traffic on this side of the road I'm 
But this is actually now flowing, completely flowing. So that's working very, very well on this roundabout. And traffic still at a standstill on the bridge. Um, as you know, these buses not using their bus lane, which is interesting. I assume that's because they're going straight on only and the bus from there can only go left hmm do have commercial demand but we've got all this commercial space uh, actually no we don't we've used all that up so I guess what we're going to use is and this is just a temporary measure is commercial from here round and to here that's just to get rid of these pylons if anything I think they're all ready to be sharing now but it's just to try and get rid of the pylons uh, but again as you see that's working quite nicely uh, our boulevard's working well it's one way and it's nice to see that actually a lot of the lanes are being used and buses coming across the bridge as well using their bus lanes which is good and works out well um, and we're getting shops getting built next to the fire station and whatnot as well right now so that's very very helpful so is this traffic still flowing fairly freely ish is the way I would call that you know it's still getting a backlog of buses but hopefully they're going to start clearing up now I'm not sure why the buses are coming around this bit uh, they'll be the ones coming in from this side won't they any buses using this lane at all? Yes, there is. So they're coming in from there. And there'll be some buses that'll come round through here now as well. So that's always helpful. Um, in fact, I want to just have a look at police, fire. Not quite getting the coverage it needs. But, you know, getting some coverage. And electricity should be good. In fact, water when you need to look at garbage just about covering it please health care is the other one I wanted to have a look at education so let's go with another elementary school round in fact this is going to be a bit of a nightmare place because it's all one way roads so you want to be at the end of that but at the same time you're getting no coverage so let's try the high school still <laughs> no coverage in reality we'll work it all out eventually um, what I do want to do though is start putting some parks down so I would like a paradox plaza please and that will cost us that and disconnect the power grid that's fine let's actually just delete the power grids that's here because we don't need them anymore and they're a bit of an eyesore in honesty and um, we'll build a basketball court maybe yeah we'll do that along here I want it facing that way I kind of liked it when it faced the other way um, so we're not going to build them these are piers and stables and a skate park and whatnot. So again, I guess we're going to go with a plaza. No, we'll go with a park. Um, let's go with a botanic garden, and we'll go here. Uh, we'll just delete that building there. Uh, what are you? You're busy corner shop. You're a drug store, busy corner shop, and organic foods. Nice mix and match there of stuff. What would actually like to see is, if we just go here commercial. I just want to go to this. 
and I just want to do that. And I think we might see some petrol stations popping up with that, which I think would be nice to see. Um, where does this road come from? Right, so you're a sort of loop from there. That's nice. And what I want to start maybe doing is start having commercial on the other side. So we'll go build in there and we'll just go along here like so and here like so. Because um, we're getting so much of what we need and not much else from that. Hmm. You know what might actually be nice is again if we actually go to here and we go to this one, no, 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 this one, and we build a path that comes from here just to here, and again on. And it's not going to let us do that. In fact, it should actually. It will just be a two-way thing. Right, bring that off just now. Bring that grid off. Like that's not worked at all, so let's not. Let's delete this path. Let's try again. So what I want to actually do is just go here to here and here. Can we get it to connect? Yes, we can. That works really, really nicely. And then what I want to do here is just go boom, put a little bit of commercial in there. It would be nice to have some offices in this area as well. It's kind of what I want to see. And across this side, I'm not going to go near the Botanic Garden. In fact, it's too far along anyway for that road to come near it. So that's always interesting. Um, we do have plenty of crossing points on this road. Um, not along here right enough, we do not, but we'll get them as junctions come off here and whatnot to try and improve coverage. Um got plenty of demand, well we've not really. Um yeah, so that brings me back to the point I was gonna make. So we're gonna go with paint district and what I want to do is just have a border around here and bring you along and up like so include you in that bit and along here in fact I now want to go to the bigger one because that's going to be fairly easy to just paint in and paint in across like so and I guess we can just bring this away back a little bit and like that and it doesn't matter that it's not perfect and we're going to name this district after defending the game uh, who is someone who had a great YouTube channel comment on one of my videos with some brilliant brilliant advice so just as a little thank you to him we're naming this district defending the game and we're going to give a policy of I believe we can what's Parks and Recreation do Uh, nope, I want to use um, it's the one that bans um, heavy traffic, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I just want to put that in here just to stop heavy traffic coming through this area and I quite like that actually don't really need to do anything else I think anything else would be done through this bit here which is uh, self-sufficient and self-sufficient Ah, the 
this is interesting. Might try that in here actually. Have this tourism one. No, we won't. We're not going to. I'll have an area for that specifically later on. Somewhere where I'm going to build a casino and whatnot. Garbage issue really piling up, so we need to find a solution for that. So let's go again with a recycling plant. In fact, we'll build two because we're really in dire need. And honesty, um, is that our landfill full? May explain part of the issue here. Um, what are you like? So. You're fairly well ahead, so let's empty. Why can I not empty you? Empty the building. Uh, basically, because we've not got an incinerator. When do I unlock that? Uh, 7,500. We're getting there slowly. Um, so, I guess. What we're going to do is we're going to delete these two abandoned buildings because they're no good to nobody. Uh, how's this roundabout getting on? In fact, not very good, but maybe slightly better than it was with the traffic light. Uh, in terms of this, uh, how are you backing up? You're backing up okay, and I can't see underneath this tunnel, of course, but it's not backing up out the other side. Um, that's obviously the better route because it gets to come out the front and well in all three lanes where there's this is being forced to can get to the other side basically um which is the issue there uh, trying to see how this is all working out in fact i'm actually really really liking how this is coming about so Let's get rid of this other abandoned building. Um, hopefully now that we've got these recycling plants coming out, people will stop abandoning buildings because I think the rubbish issue is a big part of the problem. Um, and what's this? That's uh, a floating garbage collector. Don't think that's really too much of a problem. Um, I guess we need maybe one more of these as well um, it's just going to be a bit of an issue because getting it to actually attach anywhere is going to be a problem so that might be part of the issue here and we're going to finish off by just commercialised zone in a little bit more here in fact, we need to get water in here as well. So let's put water across like so. But that's an issue further down here as well. No, it's not. We went right across down there. Um, mm. Surprised to see that. If I'm honest then. Getting some traffic coming through here. And the good thing is, is this means it's going to use up all these roads. So that's very, very helpful. Um, and this is building up okay. The buses here still being a big, big problem. As much as we've now got the bus lanes, they're still getting stuck back here, which is holding the traffic up because they're backing up from all the way up here. So hopefully these buses do start to tread a bit more wisely um, and have less issues is the dream hopefully we have less buses going forward because the amount of buses we've got here is very much a problem we've got all this residential zone and no interest in residential right now um, trying to see this is starting to back up now but of course we've got all these garbage trucks coming out this backup's getting less 
what this back up like because that's always interesting. Uh, but it's actually reducing quite a bit. So hopefully that means that we've now got this under control and it's just taking its time to cycle through and basically sort itself out. As this is a bit of an issue here. This area can get out no problem. But it's not getting out no problem because of the car switching lanes at the last minute to get in or to move because the AI is not very good at lane maneuvers which is a problem hmm. but I mean it's all flowing there's not really any stopping apart from vans sitting in the middle of the road basically is what I'm trying to say uh, we need more cemeteries is our what's our cemetery situation you are fairly good shape actually but what we're going to do is we're just going to finish off and this will be definitely the last thing we do is health care please and I would like another cemetery and I'm going to put you I kind of want to get all this covered, so that's the issue that I'm having. I'm going to put you here, and I'm just going to put a road that goes from here across, like so. I actually want to bring you out, like. Can I get a nice curve? Apparently not. There we go, that will do. And again, I just need to supply it with some water from here and it needs electricity as well because you know nothing's perfect so what we're going to do there got commercial demand and um, let's pop you in there and there and there and there and a little tiny bit there can i get a square there please as well just want to see what we got for one line here uh, did we indeed get petrol stations or not? We did indeed. We've got dino oil, dino oil, we got uh, organic foods and uh, dino oil. So three petrol stations in quick succession for, to cover entire city basically. Because that's a logical business sense. Anyway guys, I am going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll hopefully catch you all next time. Oh,